This is a statement from Prince Harry. In all, 26 members of the Halo Trust Afghan team were killed or injured on Tuesday night in what was nothing less than an act of barbarism. I honor those who have been lost and encourage support for the survivors and the families of those affected. Those who work for Halo Trust in Afghanistan face risk every day to remove the lasting and still deadly scars of war and conflict. The men who were attacked come from the very communities in which they work. They joined Halo to protect and restore their country and their homes. As I understand it, the D-miners who lost their lives were also protecting their friends. These workers put their lives on the line every day to make the world a safer place. This brutal act reminds us that we must stand in solidarity with humanitarian aid workers and the communities they serve. I would urge all of Halo's supporters across the world to rally to their cause and help in any way they can. You all probably remember the iconic image of Diana Princess of Wales walking through a minefield that had been cleared by the Halo Trust. It was a cause that she took up and probably the last big cause before her untimely passing. The um, uniform that uh, Princess of Wales wore with the protective shield and body armor is actually on display at Kensington Palace. And hopefully if you have a chance to visit Kensington Palace, you have an opportunity to see it. Halo Trust is the world's largest humanitarian landmine clearance charity. They issued a statement on June the 9th, and it reads as follows. The Halo Trust can confirm that at 2150 local time on June 8th, 10 Halo Trust staff were killed and 16 injured by an unknown armed group at the demining camp in Baglan province of Afghanistan. The group entered the camp and opened fire. Around 110 men from the local communities in northern Afghanistan were in the camp having finished their work on a nearby minefield. HALO is a humanitarian mine clearance organization that since 1988 has been destroying explosive items in Afghanistan. We strongly condemn the attack on our staff who were carrying out humanitarian work to save lives. We are focused now on the care of the injured staff and supporting their families affected. Everyone at Halo Trust would like to say thanks for the thousands of kind thoughts and condolences we have received this week. The attack on our colleagues in Afghanistan was the worst event in Halo Trust history and your support is appreciated more than ever. We are continuing to support our injured staff and the families of all those affected. We remain committed to the people of Afghanistan and our work to save lives and restore livelihoods. So that's just a little update of something that we all may have overlooked with the um, baby news and of course some of the controversy that followed and the president and first lady of the United States visiting the United Kingdom in preparation of the G7 summit and of course um, the later talks which will take place with the president of Russia. So anyway, I <laughs> hope I remember to include a link to the Halo Trust Foundation. Um, I'm kind of bad about those links, but it's always my intention. But you could also look up the information for yourself, the Halo Trust. You may recall that Prince Harry was able to uh, reenact the walk that his mother took thanks to the Halo Trust in the area where landmines 
were cleared is actually a thriving commercial district, as well as the fact that um, he was able to do one of those demonstrations of clearing um, the mines. This is a problem that plagues a lot of areas that were involved in civil wars and other conflicts. And there are so many healthy, able-bodied people every year, and far too often children included, every year these people are injured or maimed or killed because of landmines. Otherwise, they would probably lead healthy, normal lives without a loss of limbs or eyesight and such. So it's a very worthy cause that we should all support. Well, once again, uh, thank you so much. And this channel has actually seen some tremendous growth in just like 45 days, which is incredible. Totally exceeding my expectations. Thank you again. Thank you for all of your donations to this channel. So far, everything has gone back into the channel. Uh, sorry about yesterday. I've tried to upload a video and it just was not working. So I had to uh, actually stop the upload and start again and finally by um, 11 p.m. my time it, it finally went through thank you for all of those who are very patient had about 200 plus people watching at one point which is amazing I was like wow this is incredible so um, yeah thank you again thank you for all the donations remember PayPal cash app as well as the um, Patreon. Um, but yeah, thank you for your support. And um, you may have noticed that uh, Marco Sparkle has had that name change. So it's the Duchess of Success. So you'll notice the pink uh, symbol, um, you know, profile picture. So look for that and make sure you throw your support behind her. And all the other platforms like Duchess of Impact, Megapedia, um, I'm not um, on Twitter that often, and even though I do have a Twitter, I don't actually use it so much, but I'm going to try to make a point to keep up with that because it is important, and we have to remember, throw our support behind the Sussex, the Sussexes, the Sussex Squad, Sussex Squad Podcast, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, uh, they need our support more than ever um, because this is going to be a quiet period for Meghan and Harry. But we got their backs. I know we do. So um, don't let all the doubt in the naysayers try to resist the clickbait. It's an exercise. It's a process. And yes, I know I looked at the Australian 60 Minutes. That was tough to watch if you haven't seen it. I have a great review for it. Um, it, it will trigger you. So just a warning. There's no new information. There's just that horrible old man trying to be relevant, um, exercising his ego. And um, yeah, and yesterday, I want to apologize. Yesterday, I did sarcastically call the Commonwealth, the colonies, and I was being sarcastic. I was in a bit of a mood and someone has uh, corrected me on that. And uh, yeah, that sarcasm is, is probably not appreciated by people who live in one of the Commonwealth countries. I don't like the Commonwealth, but I don't actually live in the Commonwealth. And you may feel the same about the United States. You may feel like we have an overblown sense of pride in something that seems to be, um, you know, kind of cruel and and so anyway, it was it was not um, the proper thing to say. So from here on out, I promise I will refer to it as the Commonwealth. And I'll try to tone down that sarcasm about the dwindling British Empire. <laughs> See, there I go again. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Um, that's it for today. I'm out.